Hello Scorpio, Elsie here with a singles reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Scorpio, if you are single, becoming single. You know what? I'm not even, I'm just going to leave it with you. I don't really care. Yeah, no, I'm not judging you on it. If you're single and you're watching here, it's for a reason. Or maybe you're not. And the reasons are none of my damn business. So here we go. <laughs> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I feel like you and I just had a conversation, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. What's going on here? <clears throat> Scorpio. All right. Somebody offered you a cup, Scorpio, and you didn't take it. You were, you felt like your hands were tied. You couldn't. There was something that you were stuck in, but understand you stuck yourself there. You weren't stuck there at all. You could have made the choice to leave at any moment or any time, but you didn't. You felt like your hands were tied and you couldn't do anything. There was something going on that was emotional, but there was also some harsh words and all kinds of stuff you were dealing with. It feels like this Eight of Swords really is a trap. Now, I understand that it's a the Eight of Swords is where you put yourself. This is a self-imposed prison, but understand, I feel like you were dealing with a lot in the past like a lot people coming at you people telling you things like you it's like it felt like you had no friend you you had all foes you didn't know what to do you didn't understand what was going on and why people were coming at you with the information they were coming at you with it feels very confusing i feel like somebody came to you with a cup but you were already in a relationship or you were, uh, had promised yourself to another or whatever the circumstance. I don't care if it's marriage or not. But I also feel like you have been thinking about that cup <laughs> since the day it was offered. And I think that's where we go back to the Eight of Swords. I feel like you were overthinking it. You were thinking that this person maybe, um, maybe was trying to hurt you. But this person really just had love for you. And you didn't, you didn't, get, you didn't get it. I feel like it's it's like I'm talking to somebody who's been hurt a lot and you just assume that the person who offered the cup is someone who just wanted to hurt you like everyone else did. Someone who wanted to get you in some sort of a, a relationship, dating, something like that. You didn't understand why. Why does this person want me? Why are they coming at me? What is it about me that they want? I think it's legit. Like, I, I really think legit. You didn't think that anyone would, would want you except for a purpose of some sort. But this person really just wanted to offer you their love and foundational relationship. They want, they're passionate about you. Yeah. You didn't give an answer, though. You didn't speak up. You didn't say anything. Ace of Swords in reverse. You didn't give your perspective on it. And it caused you to sit here in the Nine of Swords. I think you've been sitting in the Nine Swords for a very long time and thinking about this cup and what could have been. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah understood you were completely undecided about whether you were ending the situation you were in or not you weren't sure you had to make a decision about love and you weren't sure what to do i feel like what you wanted to do was this you wanted to close the cycle or end the chapter with the person that you were with and you wanted to carry on with that ace of cups and send a message of some to someone telling them that you were in love with them I feel like you wanted to send a message, Scorpio, to someone for quite a while, but that you sat in the Eight of Swords. You you were overthinking it. And it's really because I feel I, I really feel this is legitimate though. <laughs> Understand, Scorpio, I really feel like you legitimately were in the Eight of Swords. Yes, I know it's self-imposed, but I feel like you were stuck there because of things that you weren't talking about, things that you weren't telling people, things that you weren't saying. You were in indecision about what you wanted. We have five wands here. It's beating up the self. I'm beating myself up. I'm. Uh, there's too much competition. I don't know if I want to throw myself into the competition. I feel like um, 
I'm really attracted. This looks like a really attractive offer. I think this person gave you an incredibly attractive offer, Scorpio. But you couldn't make the decision to move forward because of things that were going on in the Seven of Swords. You wanted to move on, I think. But you were fighting with yourself. I think you were also fighting with the person you were with, to be honest. And that you had threatened quite a few times that you would go. We have Nine of Swords here, and then it showed up here. That's how it works here. That's how it's been working for me lately. Every time I talk about it, it just shows up. Um, I feel like the um, Nine of Swords is telling me that you've been in this energy for a while, and now it's time to be in this energy. I think you're ending a cycle. A cycle of not only having silence with the person you want to speak with, but, but having too many words with the person you didn't want to speak with. I really think that this was an incredibly enticing uh, invitation to love, but you didn't take it because you were here. You were thinking about sending them a message and it just never happened. <laughs> yeah, so maybe you just never answered at all, right? Ace of Swords in the reverse, you just never answered them at all. You didn't know what to say. You knew you were attracted to them. They gave you an attractive offer, but you didn't know what to say because I feel like those two cups on the bottom left-hand corner of the four of cups, I feel like you were in another thing. But you've always, always thought about that cup. What could have been? Tell me more. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is for singles. Singles and cross watches, of course. We've got the feminine. If you are the masculine, this could be your feminine. If you are the feminine, this could be your feminine. It's a very long-term friendship that we have here. The person who offered you the attractive offer is a friend. Someone who loves you deeply. Someone who you've been friends with for a very long time. Someone that you trust. Card number 18. So 1 and 8 is 9. After you go over the details of who they are, you trust them. And you know with a surety, with your heart, mind, and soul, that this person is loyal. But this, you two have been chasing each other through this labyrinth, I feel, for a very long time. And there came a point where you just had to stand your ground 3 and 4 is 7. Stand your ground even though this was such an enticing offer. There were things hiding, things you didn't talk about, things you could not talk about with this feminine. Your hands were tied with this feminine. This feminine is the one that gave you the cup of love, by the way. This person gave you a message. They gave you a message of some sort. I don't care how it came to you, but there was a message from them to you that was an enticing offer that you decided not to take. And I don't feel as though you decided not to take it for any sinister reason. I feel like you're doing all of this. I've always called you noble. <laughs> so whether you're feminine or masculine, I've always called you noble because you will do things in a strategic way and you will do it right. And you don't care if it takes a long time. I feel like this friend is about to close the cycle with you. The cycle of silence, not speaking up, not saying anything, not having clarity. I feel like that cycle between you is about to end. Somebody is about to have their, their love unleashed from the cage. We have card number 33 and the well. You don't know it. It's hiding. It's hiding. I don't think you even know it yet. You might be coming to this reading and saying, Elsie, come on, I'm Scorpio. I don't do that stuff, right? I, I don't go that way. I don't do that thing. You know what? I feel like <laughs> I feel like this Ace of Swords is telling you that you're full of it. Yeah. That you're just that you that you kind of want to um, get back what you had with this person in the past. You guys have been following each other around. You're following each other around energetically, spiritually, in the 5D. I believe there's a lot of love here. We've got doves that are around the one in the center. I feel like you're trying to get to the person in the center here. And it's taken you such a long time to do it. It's like fires keep coming up, right? Or you just can't find your way. Other things are happening and you just can't seem to find the way. This um, feminine here, bottom right-hand corner of this card, is the Eight of Swords. 
or sorry, the Ace of Swords. She wants to talk. She's waiting, waiting to speak with you for some clarity. You're not ready to talk. I think that by the time you get to this person, they're going to be a little pissed, I'm just saying. Because by waiting and waiting and waiting, you've put them in the Eight of Swords as well. Seven and one is eight, right? The Queen is, is, is wondering what you're hiding. She's going to ask you, what have you been hiding from me? I need some clarity. Ace of, Ace of uh, Swords is underneath the Queen. I need some clarity. I've got this Sword of Truth. You need to tell me what's up or I'm cutting you out. Tell me what's been going on. Because I feel like there's a message, an emotional message, that you get to this person somehow. Yeah. I feel like you two have been following each other around. I feel like you've been trying to get to this person at the center of the labyrinth for a long time. And you've been coming up against blockades. You know, you're going down, you go down one path and there's a wall. And you turn around and go around the other path and it's a wall. So I feel like you... I feel like you're very focused on finding this person. And I say finding this person because it feels like you've been out of touch for a while and you don't know where they are. You can see them from a distance. It's like it's like you get on the internet and you're connected to them. You can see them from a distance, but you can't get to them. Page of Cups. You feel like you owe an apology, possibly, or maybe they owe you an apology. But either way, I feel as though you are going to find your way. You're going to find your way there. Tell me about the, uh, the loyal friend here. And the loyal friend is very much in balance. <laughs> That's what you're going to. That's what you strive for. I was just noticing that in this um that in in this in the center here of the labyrinth that there are six six wands holding up that gazebo i guess it is so somebody wants victory coming to you you coming to them with an apology scorpio i feel this person is waiting for their justice. They're waiting for you to finally speak up and end this cycle of silence with them. So they're just doing their thing. I feel like you are ending a cycle so you can go toward this person. I feel like we've got the page of wands here that tells us that there is going to be some sort of an emotional um, page of cups and and uh, page of wands message, an emotional, passionate message that you, you're you hoping is going to lead to some sort of a reciprocity after being behind the fear wall for a very long time. This is all about love in the future. It's all about love and it's all about healing. We're starting again. Yeah. All right. Who are we talking about? Well, we could. We know we're talking about you, Scorpio, but who's the other person we're talking about? Any more energy for Scorpio, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. More energy, more information for Scorpio, please. Scorpio singles. I feel like the place you're going to is far more balanced than the place that you were. But first, you got to get past the Seven of Swords. What are you hiding, though? Sorry. This is just me being nosy now. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's hiding in the Seven of Swords, please? What don't we know? What's the illusion? Five of Wands. It's, it's the... Um, it's you beating yourself up here. That's what it is. Yeah. You're not telling anyone else about how much you're beating yourself up. I feel like there's people talking about the situation. You could be someone who is very good with your words and a public speaker. Um, I feel like there is um, the Seven of Swords. What's, what's hiding here? What you're hiding is there's other people that are talking about the situation. We've got the Six of Cups about you and the friend. The friend. <laughs> right? People are talking about you and the friend. Who is the Empress? Okay. Makes sense. Seven of Cups underneath the deck. All right. Now we can go to this deck. So 
So you think the Empress is your soulmate. And uh, other people are talking about that. Maybe they think that the Empress is your soulmate as well. Empress is Taurus and Virgo. We do have Libra here as well. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We have um, this person maybe closed off, or maybe you are. Closed off emotionally. What does that mean, right? Closed off emotionally, closed off to other people, closed to other people's ideas, whatever you want to, whatever you think closed off means. Going over the details of the situation, trying to figure out if this is what I really want. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of searching, right? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of searching in the labyrinth for this person. And you're wondering, is this what I really want? This is going really very slow. But it goes very slow because it's supposed to. And then we have um, 444 right on the path. So your stability, you're going in the right direction to get justice, stability, right? Keep persevering. Um, give up the doubts that it's not going to work and keep the faith. It's about balance, stability. Yeah, I feel like that you know that there is going to be some balance and stability where you're going. And you might contact this person by the end of the year. This person could have dark eyes or maybe you do Scorpio. And I feel like this is an excellent connection. Yeah, I feel like the that the sun is blessing this connection. You know what you're in for. This person is very transparent. They're very balanced. I see uh, justice, and it tells me that they're very, they're very, um, uh, they're very uh, honest. Yeah, someone who's very honest has nothing to hide. It's time for you to speak up to this person. They could be someone who is a Leo or has Leo in the chart. Doesn't have to be. Maybe that's you. Let's take a look at Amira. And I'll get you out of here. Okay. And we got here. We got true gem. Sometimes I see that as Gemini. Um, someone who is a true gem is someone that you see as a valuable person to your life. You may have met this person um, in the workplace. Don't have to be, of course, but the courting man is someone who is usually dressed for success, right? And uh, possibly someone who wears a uniform for work. You could be this person if you're a masculine, of course. Um, you could be this person if you're a feminine. Absolutely. It depends where your masculine or feminine energy lies. I feel like it is someone that you met at work, someone who is probably older than you, Scorpio someone who is very connected to other people, connected in a society of sorts. They could be a socialite and other people could have a high opinion of this person. So you could be enduring a lot of short, um, short flings right now um, while you're waiting for, for divorce, I feel it is. While you're waiting for divorce or waiting for, you know, all the assets to be split. It's like you're in the in two worlds um, that you are have not yet left one thing, but you've not yet started another. I think we need to wait for this. Yeah, this might be the end of the year. Understand, right? This might be the end of the year for sure. All right. So you uh, this person could be older than you, Scorpio. But I feel like this that if this person is older than you, that you seem the same age or maybe you are older than them. But we do have the mature man, mature woman. You could be the same age. Yeah, could look younger for your age or maybe they do. We have fun times. You're about to have some fun times, parties and events coming up with this person. Once you guys decide you're going to close the cycle of silence. Yeah, I'm going to go for now. Thanks for coming here, Scorpio. If you're interested in a private read, please look below in the description. The link you need to get to Wizio is right there. And I love you guys. I'm going to go for now. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.